so I think that's pretty cool that you can do all of that too. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> Did y'all hear that? <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> About to storm. Uh, I picked the best time to, to record it. Hi, everybody. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. I'm Whitney and I'm a Poshmark reseller. I also resell on Mercari, eBay, and Depop and that's what this channel is about. So before we get into today's topic, I just wanted to point out what y'all think of the background. What? Is this a little bit better? I know it's not technically visually appealing, but I figured it's way better than the white sheet. <laughs> This is just my studio, so I figured I'd just kind of turn things, turn my table around and have a different perspective and not just have the white background. I just have the sun as my lighting today, so let's see how long it lasts for. Um, if it starts to go down, I'll switch it out with some, some studio lights and we'll be good to go. All right, so today we are talking about the new Poshmark features. I believe they launched about a week or two ago I think um, and we're just gonna get into what the features are um, a little bit more about them and how I feel about the new features so let's just start with the what they are so one of the first new features is they added more photos that's just basic they added more photos for you to be able to put into your listing the second new feature they added is the copy listing feature. Just to start off right now, I love it, but we'll get into that in a few. And then the third new feature they added, well, they haven't fully added it yet, actually. They are going to be rolling it out soon, but I believe it's within this update, is the Posh Stories. Okay, so now let's explain the new features. So the first one is pretty obvious, pretty self-explanatory, is the extra photos. So what they did is they just went above and beyond. They surpassed eBay with their 12 and decided to go 16 photos. So eight extra photos than we already had before. Okay, so now let's talk about the copy listing feature. So with the copy listing feature, now all you have to do is go to whatever listing you want to copy you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and then hit copy listing so once you do that it'll take you to like this new page basically or the new listing um completely copied exactly how it was before it'll also have this prompt that'll come up that says like this listing is the copy one or whatever um, and basically they're just telling you that there's going to be like the word copy inside the title, like the beginning of the title of that listing. And then you just basically just would delete that out and change anything else within that listing that you want to change. So if you wanted to change the price, make it higher, make it lower. If you had any extra details um, within the description that you discovered that you need to change or whatever, you can do all of that there. And then you would just hit list and it would list the new item. After that, I believe you have to press back. And once you press back, it'll take you back to the original listing. For me, I just delete the original listing. It's pretty easy. You just um, hit edit again, go scroll back down, delete listing, and you're good to go. So it's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. I am so losing my light right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're just going to keep on pushing forward. It's still something going on in my face. The background is dark, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so lastly is the posh features. I have some notes down here, guys. I wasn't going to remember all of this in my head, especially for the, the posh stories. Okay, so the posh stories is basically you can showcase and sell um, your listings within a short video. You can also use like photos within the Posh Stories too. It doesn't have to just be like a video necessarily. Um, it's like a photo video or whatever. So with that, it's basically telling you that you're bringing your Poshmark to life. 
so they only last 48 hours and you can record up to 15 seconds within the posh videos so within the posh videos you can also tag your listings in the story so if you have like a stories of you like modeling a clothing piece or something like that you can tag the shirt you're wearing you can tag the pants you're wearing to correspond with your listing that's on your page um, you can also tag poshers other poshers and brands as well which is also awesome um, also you can tag other people's listings too so that's pretty cool too I guess if if you're kind of trying to promote somebody else or you have a PFF or somebody who's doing Poshmark you can kind of promote them through your posh stories and tag their listing in the um, in your stories or like if you like say you brought something I say if it's boutique and you brought somebody's boutique item, which they have replenishment of, and you decide to like take a picture of you rocking your new boutique shirt, and you say, hey, check out my new shirt, it's cute, right, y'all, it's cute. And you be like, all right, go check out such and such. Um, listen, this is where I got the shirt from, get yourself one too. So it's pretty cool how you could do it that way with tagging another posture or tagging um, one of another posture's listings. Okay, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to actually put these lights up because it just got really dark out of nowhere. It looks like it's about to storm. So hold on. All right. I'm back now. <laughs> it was getting a lot dark back there. <laughs> out there. Um, yeah, it's super windy outside. It just got super cloudy. It's about to storm or something. And my fiance is outside grilling. Hopefully he is done because this is not looking good. <laughs> All right, let's get back into it. So the next one is, let me see, I got my notes here. Um, okay, so what's nice about this is that you can also upload content straight from your cell phone, like your camera roll on your phone. So it's not like you have to always go into the Poshmark app and record your video or do whatever you're doing um, through there to have your Posh stories. You can kind of, do it in your own camera roll, make it how you want to make it how you want it to look, edit, do all of that stuff, make it cute, and then you can upload it to your posh stories, which is really cool too. Um, so within that, um, being able to tag postures, tag brands, tag um, your listings and stuff, you can tag up to five postures within a single uh, posh story. You can tag up to five listings within a single story and up to 10 different brands within a single story so I think that's pretty cool that you can do all of that too did y'all hear that <laughs> did y'all hear that <laughs> holy moly <laughs> about to storm uh I picked the best time to to record it and I either way we're gonna get through this <laughs> we're gonna just keep on going um so that is basically all the the details within the posh stories there is a lot more like details about like how to do everything and i'll um, put a link in the description of the website that i got it from that kind of goes a little bit more into depth of posh stories and how to use it and all of that good stuff um so now let's just get into what how i feel about it how I feel about all the new features, how I think it'll help my business, have I used what stuff already, like what I've used already, all of that good stuff. So obviously the um, extra photos, I mean, who really wouldn't love that? It's really no downfall to it. If you're not the type of person who likes to take a lot of photos, you ain't gotta use all 16, you ain't even have to use all eight, although I recommend you do, but, um, it's just a great feature like for me a lot of times not a lot but there are times where I'll buy something in store think it's the bomb come home try to photograph it and see all these flaws if they're not crazy major flaws I'll still list it because you'll be surprised what people will buy and also if you're like somebody like me who knows how to fix things and do stuff you have no problem buying stuff at a discount and then you know get your little sewing machine out fix it up real quick um, do all of that but if there are certain flaws, especially in purses, I find these in, 
that um, have flaws and in the different a bunch of different angles and pockets and all of that. I think these 16 photos is gonna be really really helpful um, to just easily get all your photos in without having to go to a whole nother app, make a collage, bring it back over to Poshmark, post it, and then it's all these like little photos that you your customer really has to look into to make sure they're seeing everything. I feel like the extra 16 or the extra eight photos is just gonna be really awesome for us as sellers and making our lives a little bit easier as well as buyers and um, allowing them to be able to see a lot more angles, a lot more um, just different features in a clothing item or shoes or a purse or whatever. Um, so I, I'm definitely loving that one um, and excited to use it even more. Um, for the copy listing, the copy listing is lit, y'all. <laughs> the copy listing is awesome. So I started to hear about the copy listing first through the um, my Poshmark groups. Um, I, y'all, my son lost my phone. <laughs> he lost my phone maybe four days ago or so, four or five days ago, and I in the house, and I have not been able to find it since then like it's at this point I feel like the floor opened up and my phone went in and it's gone like it's gone so um I've been using my fiance's old cracked up jacked up iPhone but it's, it's working though um on wi-fi and that's what I'm recording on now and that's how I'm able to still kind of run things and do all of that as well as my laptop too but I kind of felt like I was late to the game with the Poshmark update and the new features and stuff so I'm just scrolling on Facebook and seeing the new copy list and I'm like, what's this? So I upload the or I um, Update the app and get all the, the stuff and start using it um, And I I like the concept at first But in my mind, I'm like I feel like I'm not gonna get as much use out of it as I think I will or as it You know what it seems like then I read a post that um, somebody put up saying how the copy listing feature had like changed them for changed things up for them or was like a game changer for them when it came to relisting and now I was like I ain't even think about that <laughs> I didn't even think about it y'all so I decided to use it for relisting purposes and normally I don't relist a lot I just like to add new listings but lately um this past week on Wednesday, they opened up some of the stores that we usually source from. And my fiance went back out to do some sourcing. Um, and I've just been in the house with me and my son more often than it has been since Corona. Um, so I haven't been able to, to do a lot of pictures. I haven't been able to do more new listings and stuff like that. So I'm like, this copy listing feature is going to be lovely. <laughs> for relisting my old stuff and making it seem like it's new. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about, and I'm just, let me know if you guys might have this thought too, is whether or not the algorithm will see it as a officially a new listing or if because the algorithm knows about the copy listing that they'll just see it as a copy listing and not like a whole brand new listing. Hopefully y'all understand what I'm saying, but that's like sort of a feeling that I've been getting. Like, I feel like it's not quite the same as when you complete, like when you delete your item and make a new listing, because obviously they don't know what you're doing, but I don't know if the copy listing is like, I don't know. I don't know what y'all think. I don't know. <laughs> but I still love it either way. Um, but initially what I was thinking of when it came to the copy listing was how it would be lit if they had the copy listing to be able to do that on sold listings. And that's because how, usually that's how I um, use new listings again. Like So with the Nike stuff, because I get a, the same inventory a lot sometimes, like it's a lot easier to get the same Nike shoes than it is to find like a unique thrifted piece over and over again. I will often have to go into my solds and then screenshot the pictures and then 
thankfully because I cross post on other platforms I'll be able to go onto that platform before deleting it off of there and get all the title and description information and put it back over to Poshmark and create my new listing like that um but with the copy listing, I'm like, man, that'd be nice if they'd be able to have it do it for the soul items. Because that's how I would usually, like, that would be a game changer for me. Well, guess what, y'all? They do. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't actually just check before I was doubting that they did it. But I was doubting it, y'all. I was doubting it. But... That I got with my fiance going out sourcing. He brought me um, a new pair of shoes that I had previously sold before, and I just went into my listings in Poshmark. I'm like, I think I sold. I think I know I sold them. So I just went in, looked around for the picture, and I found the listing. And I'm like, all right. I'm just sitting there on the couch. I'm like, all right, we're gonna see. I I screenshotted the pictures and everything, just really not thinking it was gonna be able to do that. But then I'm like, let's just see. So I, cut, I hit edit, and usually when you hit edit in a sold listing, it'll say you're not allowed to edit it because it's sold, which obviously is obvious. But I hit edit, and I saw the copy listing come up. Y'all, I was like, ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no way Posh did it like this. They did this. <laughs> so that made me so hype. That made me so hype. So... I haven't listed it yet because I still want to look over the shoe and make sure there's no, like, get a good look, make sure there's no flaws before I relist it again. So I just saved it as a draft. But, y'all, I'm so happy that they were they they made it so that you were able to even copy sold listings as well. Love. Now, let's get into the Posh Stories. Now, like I said earlier, they did not roll out Posh Stories yet. But when they do, I am pretty excited for what is to come with Posh Stories. So, one of the things that I'm excited about with Posh Stories is the whole tagging situation. Um, now, personally, I'm not a huge social, 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 <laughs> I'm not a huge social media person like I don't really stay on Instagram like that I'm not doing snapchat like that nothing like that um I just don't be I had the time but I feel like I don't have the time to spend on that so it's gonna be an adjustment for me to use posh stories but I feel like it's gonna be a benefit although I know that you know having your um Instagram like a Poshmark Instagram is definitely a benefit. I feel like using the Posh Stories will be a little bit more of an instant gratification or an instant payoff if I really try to use that um, to my advantage in my business. And when I say that, I mean like, okay, so I, sometimes I'll do flat lays, but I'll usually do like a one piece flat lays. I don't really do like the multiple different items and flat lays sometimes i'll do maybe a shoe or something just like something every now and then but not often or even when i um like model this stuff i'll usually just model the item i'm selling but i feel like with this new way i'll start to do my pictures a little bit differently to where i'll have the obviously i'll have the item that i'm selling but maybe i'll have jeans on or pants on that i also have in my closet and wear that with the outfit instead of something i own for myself that's not for sale and be able to tag and be like this shirt is for sale these um these jeans are for sale the necklace i got on is for sale the shoes is for sale and just be able to um for like a person to be able to see multiple items and how they go together, how I style them and stuff, and be able to sell them all just through the, the, um, the, Jesus, <laughs> the stories. <laughs> also, I think this would be great for, like I was saying earlier, for the people who do flat lays where they usually have like a whole outfit and accessories in their flat lays. I think this will be really great for them um, because they'll be able to, uh, tag each piece that's in the flat lay and be able to sell multiple pieces within that um to within the power stories so i think it'll be really really good to kind of allow people not to have to look so much to find those pieces 
they'll just be able to click and know that they're all for sale or they're not for sale and just you know just easily buy what they want to buy um also with the tag postures this i have it's a very re weird reason why i think i'm gonna love this so i do plan on doing a story time about this um in the sometime in the future but i was recently almost scammed i feel like through posh this was my first scam attempt or possible scam attempt i don't want to say she was a scammer but it's possible but i feel like with the posh stories and being able to tag people it'll be a game changer in order to weed out potential scammers as well as have just great customer service let me explain why a lot of us usually after people buy an item like to send them a message saying hey thanks so much for buying my item um i'll be having it shipped out tomorrow or whatever you say to thank your buyer for buying the item i personally stopped doing that but it, it's a really great thing to do in customers for customer service now with the posh stories i feel like i will go back to doing that but in this instance, I'll do it during the time that I'm actually packing up their item. So ever since that scammer situation, I started taking pictures of me packing up or taking pictures or video of me packing up the item, how it looks, make like the tag that I'm putting on it so they know that it's going to the right buyer, all of that type of stuff. And I feel like with this, I'll be able to do a little video or photo um, montage or whatever of me packing up their item so that they're they it shows specifically that they're getting what they are getting and that it's going to them and then the box that is going in and all of that because the the situation i had was a, like she showed, said that i sent her a totally different item um so i think this doing it that way and sending it directly to that posture will be like a hey thanks so much for shopping with me as, as you see I'm packing up your packages now here it is <laughs> and I'll be shipping it out tomorrow send that to them and also maybe you probably hopefully you'll be able to save it to your camera roll as well but I feel like that'll be like a good way to kind of weed out scammers like if somebody try to do something like they did to me I can send them that video from my posh stories to poshmark if i if i'm able to save it and um show that this is actually what they got i ain't do nothing wrong here they're a scammer like <laughs> but i i am excited about <laughs> that part of it um also just being able to kind of just connect a little bit more with poshmark with the people in poshmark in Poshmark and not just like on Instagram or on Facebook and stuff like that. It, I feel like it'll be kind of cool to see like the behind the scenes of people's businesses, um, how they set up, how they taking their pictures, like if their kids running in, because I know my son be all up in my stuff. So I think it'll be kind of cute and kind of fun to see the behind the scenes of people's businesses and just really get like show that, you know, this is people real people out here these are not like big corporations these are not like you know my like um brick and mortar stores and like like huge businesses these are really like people at home just doing their hustle doing what they got to do and trying to be successful about it so i'm really excited about seeing how the poshmark stories go but um that's basically it y'all uh, I know this went a little bit longer than a lot of my other videos, but I kind of wanted to give you the information uh, really well and also have my, show, you know, tell my take and opinion on it. And I just hope it was helpful for y'all. Um, I will put that link in the description so y'all could get a little bit more info on Posh Stories. Um, and definitely update your app and start using these new features because they really are pretty awesome. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye. Hi, everybody. What's up? What's up? How are you guys doing? Welcome back. 
Welcome back if you're new. Oh, dang it. Dang it! Hi, everybody. How are you guys doing? Welcome. Or welcome back if you are new. Oh. <laughs> welcome if you are new and welcome back if you are not new. I'm Whitney and this is my channel. <laughs> so before we get into today's topic, oh, I'm not looking at the freaking camera. Hi, hi everybody. How are you guys doing out there? I'm Whitney and this is my channel. Welcome back if you guys are... Why do I keep saying welcome back? 